I have been talking about uh, Ganesha, the being uh, who is associated with uh, a lot of uh, supernormal uh, powers, energies, and activities. And once you get in touch with him, and that's what we are going to do in this session, you will be able to uh, overcome things that you won't be able to overcome with uh, human intelligence. So working with Ganas, uh, Ganas literally means beings who, who have a tremendous amount of power. You know, they are the army of the uh, gods and goddesses. And they are beings with tremendous amount of intelligence and also uh, power uh, as well as energy. So these intelligence or intelligent beings are there out uh, willing to help us. And Ganesha is the lord of all of these beings. He is the chief of army, of the divine army of Shiva. Okay, Shiva uh, selected him because of his intelligence and also because of his uh, mighty power. And uh, the most important thing about Ganesha uh, at this point of time is that he is... Uh, very much alive and available at this point of time. And he is not kind of emeritus. Most gods and goddesses in different traditions are kind of uh, retired from active participation in human affairs. So it is not a good idea to go to a retired god. Uh, or a retired being, a retired messiah, but he is not retired. He is available for everyone, regardless of who you are, uh, provided if you call on him. I just remember a biblical line uh, from the Psalms of David. God says, call on me. I will give you the entire plane as your inheritance. The mercy of God is infinite. The curse of the human race living in the 21st century, completely dedicated to science and technology, which is, uh, has come to rule us, the science and technology has really killed our faith and our ability to connect with the divine. First of all, you have to believe in something in order to make it real. With what is reality is what you believe or what you see. And now, since Ganesha lives in another plane, so we don't really could believe him because he is not visible. Or God, no God is visible to our eyes because God uh, are visible to our eyes and are only... Uh, uh, lower reality. Now, can you see the atom? Just because you don't see the atom doesn't mean that the atom is not there. The atom is there. The particles are there. Subatomic particles are there. The boson is there. The fermion is there. The lepton is there. These are all not just unrealities or something we concocted by the physics physicists. Ganesha is the one who can do a lot of things and uh, you have been practicing, at least some of you have been practicing the mantras for him and then the way is through which you can contact him.